You know, most people don't think of the biffle bug as a small water kind of bait, but I think I'm about to change some people's minds. This is one of the best kept secrets in pond fishing. You know, it is peak fall season right now. You can tell the leaves are changing, the water is getting cold. And these fish are actually getting up shallow and they're chasing bait, trying to fatten up for winter. When you got a fast moving bait like the biffle bug in the fall time, it's perfect. It's exactly what these fish are gonna be up chasing shallow, crawdads, little bait fish. You can use a lot of forage to mimic what this biffle bug looks like. Now this particular bait, this Jean Leroux biffle bug, it's one of my favorite baits, just because I've been catching fish on it since I was like 13 years old. So it's a pretty good confidence bait for me. I know a lot of people fish it in bigger waters, bigger lakes, but it works just as good, if not better, in these small ponds. I'm about to tell you some of my secrets on how to catch them. There's a lot of things you can do with this little bait. I mean, you can flip it around cover, you can use it as a jig trailer, or you can do what we're doing today, which is just straight swimming it. And this pond that we're fishing is pretty shallow, and so this bait skips across the bottom really well. If you just go with a nice, steady retrieve, it gets those legs kicking, it really draws a lot of attention. Oh, that's definitely a fish. <laughs> well, okay. Right off the lock. On the biffle book. That happened on the fall, actually, so he probably saw those legs kick in and couldn't help himself. Let me walk you through my biffle bug retrieve here real quick. Now, as soon as that thing hits the water, I'm just gonna let it sit for just a second and let it get towards the bottom. And then I'll slowly pick my reel up. And what I wanna do is just barely keep that biffle bug running just above the bottom. And I want it to hit maybe some rocks or some stumps. So you don't want it running on the bottom all the time. I like it just above the bottom. Keep those legs kicking. <laughs> well, that's pretty shallow, he actually. He must have followed that up all the way from that cast out. He finally smoked it right at the bank. There's something about this biffle bug that it looks like a little rodent or a little crawdad that's trying to get away. These fish just, they don't want to get away. Is that a fish? No, that's not a fish. What am I doing? What am I doing? Gosh. Well, I lost the first biffle bug, but I guess while I'm rigging up, I'll kind of tell you about my setup a little bit. The biffle bug I'm using is a four and a quarter inch in the Delta Craw color. It's kind of like a black, got a little red flake in there, and the bottom is kind of orangish. So the bottom contour here, it's got a little bit of red clay to it. And so that bottom of that biffle bug matches up really nicely. Tying it on this 5 16 ounce Jean LaRue hard head. See, it's got the weight right there and it's got the line tie right there and it's got the attachment for the hook. And so that lets that hook be free swinging and gives that biffle bug a lot more action. Go up and down, really lets those legs kick in the water. These biffle bugs are pretty cool. Appendages on the side kind of adds to that bug-like appearance. These are the two legs in the back that really add a lot of action. And you've got this glide tail back here that uh, kind of stabilizes it in the water. And if you want to get really crazy with it, the body is actually hollowed out right there. So you can add rattles for sound or you can put a little scent in there too. Oh, 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 that one got it in his mouth. He isn't any bigger than a little Snickers bar, but that time it wasn't even running on the bottom. I was just reeling it like a swim jig. Just had it straight up in the water and came up and got it. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh, he came off. No. Oh, there he is. Look at that. That's not a bad one either. If I say not a bad one compared to the ones we were catching. You just gotta keep those legs moving on that biffle bug. I mean, it does you no good to just let it sit there. The legs are what gives it the action. Chunky little guy. He's been eating good. Get out of here. That one's not tiny. This might be the best one today, actually. Yeah, that's a good one.
How about that? That is a good fish right there. Look at that. Perfect textbook, top of the mouth too. And when you think fast moving fall baits, think biffle bugs. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and in the comment section below, I want you to tell me what your favorite season is to fish in.